So, so how does someone go about finding a good contest prep coach? I mean, these days you got the uh, forum boards, um, RX mus uh, Muscle, uh, Muscular Development. Um, that's a good place you can you can Google it. There's all kinds of guys out there. Um, you know, uh, word of mouth. You know, it, it's not too hard to find. I, uh, if you put contest prep in the computer, you'll find some guys. Um, you know, I would just. Uh, you know, most guys have uh, testimonials and some pictures of their clients, and I, I keep an eye on that. And make sure, you know, that the clients are actually saying good things, and you, you see some people that are in really good shape, and uh, you know, definitely make that a part of it. But if you're looking to compete, there's always guys around, um, guys or girls around that that if they're competing, they know of some people. So, you know, it's not not real hard. I just I would just be a little worried about paying too much money for somebody you don't know or really haven't heard. Right. Just like with anything else, use your common sense. Right, and you know one of the things I think you're paying for a lot is, you know, I've seen, I've seen diets from a dozen contest prep coaches. The diets in terms of the foods that you're eating sometimes aren't that different. But what you're paying for with experience is you're paying for somebody that knows what to do with you when you look a certain way, whether you're flat or you're behind or you're. You know, you're holding water. Someone, someone who can really dial it. That's really what you're paying for. I mean, everybody can say, okay, eat chicken breast and broccoli, but like it's really the experience, and, and not everybody has that eye. Like you have it, and you know, and some some other some other people do. But I mean, you know, you're really paying for that, and it's, it's valuable. Well, it's it's uh, you know, a diet is not just about macros. You know what I mean? It is, you know, it is about calories to some degree. It is about protein, carbs, and fats. But it may be that I find that your body doesn't respond to one carbohydrate like it will another. You know, maybe one carbohydrate isn't keeping you full when you're running through it. Whereas if we put a slower acting carb in there, your muscles stay full or things start pushing. I mean, there's all kinds of things. It's different types of food, when to change them, how to change them. Sometimes it takes a little while to figure people out. You know, I can't say, I can speak for myself that every person that I help, I don't have a plan. You know, my goal is to... Get the individual eating as much food as possible so as this process continues I have more room to work. I have more to pull from, more food to pull from and more adjustments, adjustments can be made. If somebody comes to me and they're not eating anything, meaning let's say they're eating 350 grams of uh, protein and 50 carbs and 40 grams of fat, there's not a whole lot I can do with that, you know. I mean, it, my goal is to get somebody eating as much as possible, then to make the necessary adjustments to keep them improving. That's what. That's why you need to start with them early, so you can get the metabolism rolling first. Absolutely. So, speaking of different types of diets and stuff, I mean, we have you know a, a number of extremes in the spectrum from everything from ketogenic to like a hard carbohydrate diet. We have the zone, all this stuff. Do you? I mean, have you ever sat down to think, or are some patterns of macronutrients? most likely to work in somebody or is it completely just, you know, you know, tailoring it specifically for the person? Or what are some general recommendations we can give some of the viewers to, to really start looking at their own diet maybe? Well, I, I, I tailor everything to the individual. Uh, the ketogenic diets, if you want to just peel off body fat and sacrifice some muscle, you know, I guess they work. I mean, I see some guys that can get in crazy great shape, hard and dry, flat as a pancake. Certain body types, if they got really, really round, full muscle, they can get away with it more than others. Only time I use a keto diet is if I'm working with somebody that's just so far behind, I've really got no other choice than to try to get the fat off of them. Um, but as far as uh, anybody out there who's looking to start a diet, I mean, usually I establish a baseline for each client. And most times, um, when I go back and look, it's usually protein and carbohydrates are almost equal, you know. And then my fat, I try to keep it moderate. So let's say... It may be, you know, I have 350 grams of protein. It may be, you know, 325 to 375 carbs. And then the fat may be around 60, you know. And that will establish a baseline. And from there I can make adjustments. Hey, this guy, you know, the, the weight's not coming off. There's too many carbs. I start pulling those down. Or maybe their metabolism kicks in and they're getting leaner and i got to give them more food. It, it just really depends. But, I mean, if, if I was going to a real open-ended question like, somebody never dieting before, what would I tell them to do? You know, maybe equal, close to equal portions of carbs and protein and the fat somewhere moderate. So maybe uh, 35, 35, 35, well, 40% carbs, 40% protein, 20% fat. Maybe just as a starting point. That's certainly not exact, but it's just a starting point. So I know you mentioned that everyone's choices for protein sources and carbs are going to be different. 
can you give any general recommendations of some of your favorite sources of these things, or whether it's a fat, carb, or, or protein, um, and some of what, what you like to include in diets, maybe some you've seen work better than others? Just, the, I mean, the basics tend to work the best, man. I, uh, egg whites, uh, chicken, um, lean beef. Uh, if it's somebody who's got a high metabolism, they're probably going to get deep flank steak or sirloin. If it's somebody who really can't handle as much calories, I'm going to give them, uh, you know, lean ground beef, 93%, 97%, something around there. Um, tilapia, of course. Uh, not that tilapia is the best fish. It's just really inexpensive and easy to eat. You know, there's better fish out there. I mean, tilapia kind of caught on. Um, back in the day, orange roughy, I think, was much better. But any white fish that's very, very low in fat, flounder, cod, any of that stuff will work. Tilapia seems to be used uh, a great deal these days. And I think, again, it's just because it's easy to eat and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, carbohydrates, rice, oats, oats pa uh, not pasta, rice, oats, potatoes, sweet and white. Some people eat more sweet potatoes than others. Some people can't. Some people get... They can't get lean off sweet potatoes. They hold too much water. Then I got to go more to white potatoes. Um, it, it just depends. It really, it really varies. But just the, the basics, and then vegetables: broccoli, asparagus, you know, green beans, cauliflower, spinach. Just depends on depends on the person. Do you have people taking uh, like essential fatty acids, like omega three, six, and nine, or anything like that? Uh, definitely, some of uh, essential fatty acids are a good part of any diet program. Um, I also try to use good fats, um, whether it be almond butter or peanut butter, or just almonds themselves. Um, even some avocado at times, but good healthy sources of fat are always a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, eggs in the morning, a lot of times I use the omega three eggs for sure. Okay. Some guys can eat nothing. Some guys can eat eight whole eggs, but they're omega threes and it works. Mm -hmm. So, what about uh, supplements? I mean, do you do the supplements play a big role in, in a contest prep diet? And you know, whether it's a fat burner or you know, you know, evening primrose oil or green tea extract or, I mean, do you, you know, a ton of vitamin C or, I mean, any of these, that, or ALA, I mean, do you um, recommend anything? Definitely some type of fat burner once you, and that's as much as when you start dragging butt because you're on a diet. Still um, fat. Not a bad, I mean, they have somewhat of a thermogenic, uh, thermogenic property, so it does help burn more calories, it will help keep you going. Um, heat your body up depending on which one you're using, so they're not a bad idea. Cardio, I'm a big fan of like uh, L-carnitine and acetyl L-carnitine before cardio. Uh, a little bit of Yohimbi can be thrown in there, especially men and women, but women it can help target some stuff lower body wise as far as uh, burning more fat. Um, you know, you can use a protein powder, well, whatever you really prefer for a majority of the diet, but usually the more whole food the better. So um, usually like I got a guy right now, I think he's four weeks out. He gets uh, you know, like a scoop of protein after he trains pretty much, but now it's all food. But further out, you can get away with more protein shakes. Um, a lot of times, like with you, to try to get enough calories, we'll do you know, a protein, a whey protein or an isolate um, with some oatmeal and some peanut butter. So it's, you know, it's not maybe quite as good as a whole food meal, but it's not too far off because you are throwing the oats and the peanut butter in with it. Right. So, uh, you know, other than that, you know, the pre-workouts have their place. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there also that can help with estrogen near the end of a contest prep. Um, you know, uh, and, and a multivitamin is always a good idea. So now, speaking of supplements, you're, you're with BPI. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell the viewers a little bit about your role with them and, and what, what you and their company? Yeah, I've, um, well, I've been in the supplement industry for uh, 18, almost 19 years. And uh, a little over a year ago, I got the opportunity to work for BPI. And... Um, Hopefully everybody's familiar with them. Uh, pretty much, in, to, to my knowledge, we are the fastest growing company in the history of this industry. Um, and we don't have a protein powder, we don't have a weight gainer, which is which is definitely unique for this industry. Um, but we have some great fat burners, great pre-workouts. <clears throat> we also have another line called Image uh, Sports, which is exclusive in GNC with some great products. But we have like the AHD, which is a good anti-aromatase. Um, so this is something that people can use and utilize uh, to really lean up and get harder near the end of your contest prep. Keeps the testosterone elevated and, and pulls down the estrogen so it helps get some water off you and tighten you up. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, I'm real fortunate to have the, the job that I have right now with the company I'm with. That's great.